everybody. Today we're here in Santa Monica, a lovely day in California, Southern California, with an amazing man, I must say. Thank you, sir. Tony Horton, how are you, buddy? Patrick, pleasure, man. Yes, how it is you? a pleasure. Well, I wanted to know because yes. it's all about Tony Horton today. Is it? Yes, it is. It, very much so. You know. Yeah, thank you. Not only are you good looking, handsome, but I well, mean. Well, your hair and makeup people are spot yeah. on. There's a rumor you have a brain on you. A brain? Well, you know, I know a thing or two about a thing or two, oh, only because yeah. I've had to for survival purposes. Ah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Now, it didn't all start off this way. I mean, you, you even told me that you were a crummy athlete. I was a terrible athlete. I had two left feet. Uh, I was the last kid picked on every team except for dodgeball. <laughs> What's up with that? Well, you know why. Wonder, yeah. yeah, he's an easy target. Uh, because, you know, when I grew up in the <clears throat> 60s, yeah, many, well, many moons uh, ago. Hey. Yeah, yeah. I'm you, your buddy right here. You look marvelous. Thanks, darling. I got to tell you, we look good for our age. We do. We definitely do. It's the lighting. Anyway, yeah. but I, I just wasn't good. And, and uh, exercise and training was sort of a... A real, you know, a real bear for me. It was not a fun process. My dad was a great athlete, you know, and he was a captain of his football, baseball, and basketball teams. But he didn't want to place that burden on me, the whole the process of, you know, feeling beat up. And right. uh, so I was kind of wandering out. I was on the football team, but I was really more of a tackling dummy than anything <laughs> else. You know, well, it made you tough, though. Yeah, yeah. There I mean, go. I got beat up Monday through Friday, and come game day, I did a lot of this. Hey, nice play. Yeah. You know, I didn't really play very much, right. but I got out to Southern California, and you know, the neat thing about this place is that there were gyms on every corner. It wasn't this coach beating up on you thing anymore. It was going to the gym, uh, and at th in those days, it was purely aesthetic. It was about my ego. I mean, I wanted a six pack, and I wanted, you know, lean. What happened there? Jeez, I wanted, you got the pump going, buddy. I got buddy. a little pump. Well, I did yeah. some pull-ups before the interview. All right, all right. Yeah, you know, give it away. I give away all my secrets yeah. right here, and I just loved it. I just loved it. And and back in those days, it was not about. Um, being a better athlete. It wasn't about performing better. It wasn't about, uh, you know, the kinds of things that I, the reasons why I train now. I train purely because I just like the look. It was all about the look. Right. If you look at a lot for of the body, chicks. It's for the chicks. It's for the chicks. For the chicks. Well, you know, because I had no personality and no money. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, I had yeah. long hair. I had that yeah. going for me. Yeah, which That's is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I had long hair too, and I had the mustache the whole bit. We had the mustache. Oh, I had the mustache. Wow. Yeah, yeah, the big old handlebar. Nice. I had to get the wax going. Very nice. It yeah. was a look. It was the 70s. Oh yeah. Everybody looked like a state trooper back oh, yeah. in those days, you know. So, mm -hmm. but but that's that was really it. And then I got my first celebrity client. Just, you know, pure luck. I was training my boss. I used to be a PA over at Fox. I mean, I was a pantomime on the streets. I worked retail. I was, you and I were talking earlier, I was a <clears throat> go-go dancer at Chippendales. Yep, yep. I remember those days. There you go, buddy. You know, there you and go, little pop and lock. Remember that? Damn. Oh, yeah, well, I was a pantomime. Marceau Marceau. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I actually studied under, under uh, Marcel Marceau's uh, undergrads back in the day, a guy by the name of Michael Grando. Yeah. I was so fascinated with physical, with physical movement, you know, whether it be through dance or through mime or for, you know, physical training. I mean, here in my backyard, I've got a pegboard, I've got a rope, I've got Southern a high bar, yeah. we've got rings, parallel bar, I've got two slack lines. Uh, you know, and for me now, it's about performance. Right. It's purely about performance. I'm, I'm 55 years old, or at least I will be probably when this comes out. And uh, I just got back from a, an eight-day heli skiing trip. That's something I could have never done in my 20s or 30s, but now in my 50s I can. And you're at altitude. At an altitude. And you hit a tree. And I hit a tree really hard. What happened? And I didn't break. I thought I broke all my ribs, but miraculously, because here's the thing about training now. Back then, ego, aesthetics, meeting girls, whatever. You know what I mean? Going to the gym and doing an hour and a half of chest. Right. One day, and the next day you do legs for two hours. Right. You know, you're doing hack squats all day long, which was all about building size and getting big and having right. massive traps. And these were, you know, important to me then. Now I want to be able to, you know, I want to be able to climb ropes and I want to be able to ski really hard. And I want to mountain bike, you know, and I want to ice climb and kayak. And I want to do really fun things. You know, it's, I do indoor training for the outside world. Well, if you think about it, when you're doing this, these fun activities, it's not hurting so bad, so you actually enjoy them. Exactly. When it hurts, you're like not about the activity. Yeah. yeah. Well, my, my metabolism is through the roof. My pain threshold is very high, and it was the opposite before. You know, I had a terrible metabolism. I mean, I was I was something bodybuilders called skinny fat, right? I was this kind of a skinny. When you looked at me, I was skinny, but before I trained, but I had this little belly on me. I had like about a 34, 35 inch waist and okay. little skinny arms. I couldn't do more than seven pull-ups. Wow. You know, now I can do like 35 pull-ups. That's amazing. And, and do like 100 push-ups, and I do push-ups on med balls and Swiss balls, and and I, you know, I jump up on the slack line. Things I, I just couldn't do when I was younger. So it's more about can do. Absolutely. It's more about performance. It's more about exercises that relate to speed, balance, and range of motion. But if you're focusing right. on getting better at things, yes. right, as you get older, then you'll you'll get the look anyway. You'll get this, right? You'll get the. Yeah. You won't get the wire, but you'll get the. Yeah. You'll get this. It's a six pack. And you know, I mean, you know how many times I work abs specifically? Never. 
right. Never. I do core-based exercises that involve twisting and moving and turning and standing on one leg and using Swiss balls as a means to, you know, really improve my core, which starts from my armpits to my kneecaps. Absolutely. You know what I mean? If this part in the middle is strong, your back problems go away. Yeah. Your six-pack automatically comes and you can function better as a human being, whether you're picking up a box or whether you're, you know, you're reaching up for a rock on a rock climbing route. That, that's, that's what it's really about. There's too many people who have, whose purpose is out of whack with what they want in life. Yeah, and it's not sustainable, is it? No, it's not. It's not, it's really. Exactly. That is a very good point because they work and work and work to get this aesthetic look. I can tell you, I was on a trip. I do these events all around the world. I had a fitness camp in Vegas, and this six foot, six foot six cop comes up to me, and I watched him online. I watched him beef go from a big guy to a lean guy, and when I saw him, he had gained about 25 pounds back. And I said, wait a minute, I thought you had, he said, well, the day I finally got the look I wanted, I, I, was in the, I was in a great mood and then instantly in a bad mood because I thought, well, what am I going to do now? And he said, the reason why I'm here at this camp with you is to figure out how to regroup, how to, you know, reactivate a new purpose, yeah. something that's going to sustain me long term. Well, you know, I was watching you online the other day, you know, just about a 45 days or a month before I came over here because I was doing a little research and you said something. Hey, you know what? 20 minutes a day, start there. Just little things. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. I've already lost. I mean, I know it's not about losing or gaining, but... But still, it's a I, measurement. I, that's I've, important. I've lost almost 20 pounds just in the last 45 days. Smack that hand. See that? And you got me going. Yeah, good. I appreciate it. Because you know what we think? Oh, it's got to be an hour. P90X is an hour. The reason why so many folks don't do P90X, we've sold, I don't know, over 5 million copies, is because a lot of people just don't want to put that time in. And I say, well, what if, what if you did half of it? Well, that's not right. I've got to do the whole thing. Who said? Who made that rule? You're going to either choose nothing or a half an hour? Which one do you suppose is better? I think a half hour might Always. be better. Always. You, you know, I'll just, I'll be in a hotel and there's no, it's pouring rain outside. The gym is awful and terrible and there's no, you know, it's crowded. Right. I'll just do a bunch of stairs for, for 10 or 15, yeah. 20 minutes, up and down, up and down. You know, it's about breathing deeply to move blood into your brain. And when you breathe deeply, you're stimulating norepinephrine and dopamine and serotonin. And my and those I, aren't cuss words. They are not cuss words, not even close. Okay. And something known as brain-derived neurotropic factor. Say it with me. Brain-derived neurotropic factor. Oh, we're good. Yeah, we're good. No, we're, we didn't even rehearse that. Yeah, I agree. It's not about getting old like your parents and grandparents did. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to work out for the full hour. You don't have to eat every single morsel perfectly clean and organic and healthy and gluten-free and blah, blah, blah. But you have to have more good days than bad. Mm -hmm. Exercising two days a week and not exercising five, that just doesn't work. Throw yourself down a set of stairs and be sore because the two days are never going to make up for the five where you're doing nothing. And same thing with food. Eating a healthy meal once in a while just ain't cutting it. But if your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner are clean and healthy, the, you know, where, you get, where you're getting the most of your calories, right. then you can have some chocolate covered almonds, or you can have maybe half a Snickers bar, or you can cheat here and there. But when breakfast, lunch, and dinner are clean, I mean, why would you want to, you think about it, you, people get up and they have pancakes and waffles with butter and syrup. Yeah. It's birthday cake. Yeah, the ingredients is. are, just put a damn candle in it, Absolutely. blow it out, and then eat it, and then count how many years you'll be shorter on earth. I mean, that's, <laughs> pretty much. yeah. I mean, well, you know what I noticed too, Tony, just the few changes I've made, I don't want to eat bad anymore. Like once I start seeing results, I want to eat better. Yeah. I want to do better yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah. And you know, hey, look, some days are hard, some days are stressful, sometimes your biorhythms are out of whack, you know, the barometric pressure in your bedroom's off. I don't know what it is, but there's any number of things that we sure. can't really see, we can't feel, you know, but they're out there and they're affecting us all the time. And so sometimes you reach for comfort food. Sometimes you say, you know what, I'm not doing the damn workout today. Right. And I'm just going to take it easy. And that's okay. But you want to make sure that over the course of a month, over the course of 30 days, give or take, you want to get 22 workouts in. And if you can do that, you're going to see dramatic physical, mental, and emotional change in conjunction with making sure that you eat healthy 80 to 90 percent of the time. Some people are just robots, you know what I mean? They eat clean all the time. They're eating raw and vegan or whatever. Right. Look, you know, I was a vegan vegetarian for 15, 17 years. And then I met this gal and, you know, we've been going out for four years and she kicks, she cooks beautiful chicken and beautiful fish and I'd be over there eating my goulash, you know, right. and she'd be have some kind of like, you know, hammered out, peppered, spiced chicken with, with arugula and yeah. Parmesan cheese yeah, yeah. and I'd look at her and go, can I have a bite of that? You know, and so now I don't treat my food like a religion anymore. I'm not vegan or vegetarian or flexitarian or paleolithic. I eat like my great great grandparents used to eat. I don't eat, you know, I try to stay away from the chemicals, I try to stay away from the fat, sugar, salt, the processed food, the foods that are made in factories, fast foods, you know, that's, I, I don't know what's in that stuff. Right. And the ingredients list is th are things I can't pronounce. Absolutely. But if I eat like my great great grandparents ate, 
you know, I eat a plethora. There it is again. I did a, a panoply. Not only this guy handsome, amazing, but the brain on this kid. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I borrowed it actually. I got one down at the Seven Eleven. Okay, well, you know, yeah. clean it before you take it back. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, right. But you know, that's really the key. And yeah, so, it is. if we want this thing to work, we've got to look forward to it. It's got yeah. to be fun. It's yes. got. And if we hang out with like-minded people, yes. you know, we are the five people we hang around, hang around the most. Yeah. But you know, you were talking to me about food and time, and you know, you, you, something amazing you told me about. Tony Horton's Kitchen, was that what it was? Tony Horton Kitchen, TonyHortonKitchen.com. www.TonyHortonKitchen.com. <laughs> Did I throw a plug in there? A little I didn't bit. Notice. You're allowed. I don't, I don't You're allowed. But tell me what it is. Tell me the philosophy. Well, you know, look, I, I understand the food thing, but it's still the hardest part for me. Okay. So I found a company that I really liked and I trusted, and, and uh, they make amazing food. They have an amazing kitchen. It's gluten free food, it's sugar free food. Gluten free. It's super right low in sodium. There are even sodium free meals. And uh, you don't need a whole lot of knives and forks it's a lot of spoons so you know when you dip in there's like 15 ingredients right there in that one little you know wow. just vegetables and we have a paleolithic one for folks that you know flexitarian we call it which is kind of meat based with which we have uh, free range chicken and we have uh, grass fed beef and buffalo and wild fish there's that option but we have something for vegans and vegetarians as well and so the process is hard for people you know they like you you did p9x the first time yeah, didn't and you do didn't diet. do the diet i know because you know i mean it's not i was all like hey dude what's up you're all pumped up yeah but you're not you don't you want you want right you want too. to be Lean. you want the insides to be as healthy right. as the outsides right. appear right? right so that's what the food things about the foods about everything on the inside because you know you're gonna die from one of three things environmental yeah. right genetic yeah. or behavioral and far too many people die way too young too miserably Absolutely. because their behavior stinks yeah. their genetics are fine they don't live near Chernobyl right so yeah. chances are they're gonna they're gonna be okay you so got a chance not? kid yeah you got so, we got a so, chance so Tony there's a chance and so it's a, so I I came up with Tony Horton kitchen because I wanted people to do two simple things to get the food yeah. heat it up open it yeah. eat it up yeah. take the recycled container throw it away traditionally you get in the store and you go around with your card and you get all the things and you get in line and you go back out and somebody's ding your car and you have to get in traffic you go back to your house and you have to put something in the pantry in the refrigerator in the refrigerator <gasps> good now you have to pull all the pots and pans and you got to cook and prepare and prep blah, blah, blah. and then the family eats and the kids bitch because it's not what they wanted and then all of a sudden now hey you got to clean it up you got to put it and then you repeat then you go back to the store oh Heat it up, eat it up, you're done. Sounds pretty good. Our vegan meals are nine bucks. Not but bad. Nine, nine bucks. Where are you going to get a meal uh, nine at a restaurant? You're you not gonna you can it. go to a fast food restaurant and pay more oh, you for can. something that will accelerate your death. Mm, sounds like or fun. you can eat whole healthy foods that invigorate you, help you lose weight, help you function better, help your brain function. And all you have to do is go to TonyHortonsKitchen.com. Good grief if that isn't easy. I don't know. Does it is. come to your house? Does it get? Comes to your house. And this is not frozen food. Okay. We have a three, uh, we have a form of packaging. There's three seals. It's so it's before, after, after. Oh, or sorry. So our yeah. our folks, yeah. they go to the farmers market. Okay. They handpick the. They food. do the labor. They do the labor. How much is your time worth? Yeah. How much is your time? Your time's worth? worth a lot. Yeah. I mean, you got to go skiing. You know, a lot of folks. Well, we have a family of five, and we can't feed all our kids, and nine dollars per, per person is really expensive. Well, we have deals for families. We know where we give you discounts if you buy, buy in bulk. We will work with you. You know, oh, we try to awesome. make it work. Yeah. So you know, instead of doing all that stuff. It just comes to your door, it's fresh, sealed. It goes in the fridge. So if you think about it, every meal and every workout is an opportunity to move in one of two directions. For better or for, or for worse. worse. That's right. Oh, isn't that all? I mean, in a way to me, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And you know, some meals are going to not be ideal. Right. And you know, there's going to be too much sugar in them or too much fat or too much salt. But the idea here is to give you as many opportunities as right. possible so that you can eat healthy as often as possible. I've got a test group right now working on another program. We've got P90X, we've got P90X2, 10 minute trainer. Maybe we'll talk about those a little bit. But, sure. but the new program is shorter. Uh, partly because folks couldn't do the P90X, and because they, you know, they blamed time. They weren't, you know, they didn't have the wherewithal to only do, do the first 20 minutes, do the first, gotcha. first 40 minutes, which is still always better than and zero. Do it again, and Mano Manischewitz. I remember that in my head. All my lines. And, and you know, I have a couple lines. What's the one uh, that I like the most is, Don't do your best. No, do, do your best, best and forget, forget the rest. rest. I love that line. Thank that you. is so true, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's the rest that gets in our way. Yeah. We're thinking about the rest. Yes. Which prevents us from doing what we need to do so that we can become better human yeah. beings. So forget that. Because it's not serving you. Okay. Just do your best. And is your best the same every day? No. No. no I way. come out here sometimes.
custom dive. I got all this equipment, right? Yeah. I've got versa climbers and bikes and treadmills and pull-up bars and ropes and pegs and pegs, jumping and rings and, and rings. And sometimes I come out here and I am Superman on the moon. I mean, it's so easy for me. Other days I come out here and I am Johnny Kryptonite on on the planet Saturn. It's just. Yeah. Why do I feel so? And what do you what? do in that case? You, you just do it. Do it. You do, but you do, do your best. You, right? you decrease your range of motion. Okay. You you decrease your 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 rep count and how much weight you move, and you just listen. You know, Woody Allen. I think he said. He, I don't know if he takes credit for this. Eighty percent of life is is showing up. Yeah. And what's the other twenty percent for? Paying attention to what's yeah. happening to you while you're there. Absolutely. Right. So if your ego is in the way, if you're trying to compare today's workout to yesterday's workout, then you're often going to be disappointed. It'll kill you. But the job yeah. is your lame, awful, terrible, short, cut workouts always lead to better ones. But the ones where you feel like you know, the ones where you choose nothing, you always get yeah. nothing, and then you don't. When you come back, it's even harder. So how important is this rest then? Like after you did the workout, how important is rest? Rest is very important. I mean, you know, it's the yin and yang, right? I yeah. mean, you know, if the pendulum's going to swing this, this far in one direction, sure. it's got to swing that far in that direction. And how do you get rest? People don't get their seven and a half to eight hours of sleep every That's night. True. I mean, because they blame society and work and kids and traffic, and they have to get up and there's a long commute and blah blah blah. Whatever. Shut up. You know what I mean? Stop watching Letterman. You can TiVo the damn thing, yeah. right? And then watch it on Saturday. But there's no excuse for you to be up late at night when you don't have to be. Put your head on the pillow. Get your seven and a half to eight hours of sleep every night because you're, sleeping is healing. Healing. Yeah. It's healing. That's when you heal. Yes. Well, some people meditate. That's great. Some people do a form of like yin yoga or other kinds of yoga. That's awesome as well. You have those opportunities. But most Americans don't do yin yoga. No. Yeah. yeah, you know, so so here's the thing. You can rely on a source outside of yourself. Okay. Coffee, wine, pharmacist, doctor, pills, potions, uh, whatever. Yeah. To help solve some of your problems temporarily, but you know, collectively that will eventually work. It's not a long-term fix. No. 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 And hey, look, I'm not telling anybody they need to stop taking their meds or, right. or uh, you know, stop drinking wine and coffee. Look, if your life is awesome and you feel great and everything's functioning well and you don't need the information that I'm disseminating right now, right. well then fine. But if you're struggling and things aren't right for you and you might want to, don't be a new hater. You know, don't be somebody who's afraid of new things. Jump in the deep end. Just go ahead and do it because if it, even if it doesn't work, you've got a great story to it's tell. It's another adventure. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. point your finger at my face and so, go, see, Tony, I tried your P90X, your 10-minute trainer, and I got off the alcohol and everything. I got all ripped. And I didn't, Look at me. I got all ripped and happy, and I didn't like it. <laughs> I want to be miserable and overweight again. Yeah, I, yeah, I that's the guy I want to be. And you can go right back to it, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But, so. but jump in the pool, man. All right, all right, you know, right, open right. the door. Get get crack back. open the window. Look get out. Say, get what back. is happening? And take a deep breath. All right. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty intense. I like I that. I mean, I get a little yeah, intense Yeah, yeah. You believe it. Bringing it down. Well, Tony. You're intense. You still got a yeah, lot of life left in you. I'm mellow. You go in the hundreds, right? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna mellow out at about 105. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. That's when I'll stop skiing, helicopter skiing. All right, all right. Yeah. Well, what's well, until then? What do you get going on? Well, you know, uh, I've got this amazing relationship with Beachbody. Of course, we've got P90X, which was so huge initially with Power 90. Then 10 Minute Trainer. It's probably the number one show that we're airing right now, and yeah. which is fun. You and know? thanks for sending me a copy because yeah. I've been trying. It. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's good. It yeah. was really good. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it's just it's the human body. Mother Earth and this thing called gravity. Yep. Most of it. Yeah, right? You really. don't need the gym membership. You don't need the barbells and the dumbbells and all the cardio equipment. I mean, it's there. I have it. I use it occasionally. Yeah. But more is better, right? You want to, you know, the, the more you variety. open Variety is the key to fitness. They say it's the spice because of life. It is the spice of fitness. Absolutely. Because you know what happens to most folks? They get bored, they yes. plateau, and they get injured or some combination thereof. And so what I'm trying to do is create programs that avoid those three things yeah. so that you get excited about fitness. So you look forward to hanging out with your friends and trying new things and being okay with the fact that you're not going to be perfect because you never are. That's just life. That's yeah. the way it is. It happens out in the world. It happens with, you know, when you're exercising and sometimes it happens when you're traveling, you're trying to eat healthy food. That, but you want to, you know, you want to, you want to win the war. Don't worry yeah. about the battles. The battles yeah. will happen. Yeah. So that relationship with Beachbody, I love it moving forward. We got a new project coming out, but outside of that, you know, I've got the clothing line, TH Fitness, which is oh. really exciting. Of course, we talked about Tony Horton Kitchen and, and uh, we're working with a major, major company that has massive distribution. We're really excited. I can't give that away just yet, but uh, look for that. You might be able to find Tony Horton Kitchen everywhere. And uh, now I'm reading, writing my third book, which uh -huh. is really exciting. The first two books were exercise and diet, which is, you know, what I do. But this third book is different. It's really about um, how your approach to life, physically and dietarily, affect not only you, but your family, your, the people that work, your community, your state, your country, and this planet. I agree. I honestly believe that healthy people, that, that high-functioning healthy people, uh, stop focusing on themselves 
and begin to become more altruistic and start helping other people who need them. Because that's what life is. Why am I happy? Why am I screaming freaking happy all the time? Because it's not about me anymore. Or is it? Ding da da ding. <laughs> but you be. know, but what I'm What saying, about that wire? <laughs> yeah, that wire. It could be what I put in the wire. Whoa. Oh yeah. Whoa. All right, buddy. Yeah, but but you know, the point here being is uh, the focus is to be happy. Your priorities the change. Pursuit, it's the pursuit yeah. of happiness. It's in the freaking Constitution. Absolutely. Right, so for and me. And the right to bear arms. Yeah, that too, for some folks, if they want it. <laughs> they want to. Um, but, uh, but really, the ultimate goal here is to, I, I get such pleasure out of showing people you know, how to, how to have a better life. Yeah. And uh, that's happened over and over and over and over again. There are so many couples, for example, that have bought one of my programs, and maybe it was just the guy or just the gal. And then, you know, the other one was saying, well, why do you do this? You keep buying these programs with an F4. But, you know, two and a half years later, they're fit and they're healthy, yeah. and then the spouse is brought in. And now you've got not two overweight people that are sitting around watching TV. Two active people enjoying life. Yes, they're out side, you know, doing things with their kids, setting an example. Their, their kids now see two active parents, so right. they assume that that's normal, as opposed to the parents they had before, which were just sitting on their butt, right. right? And so now these active kids become athletes on teams. They help teams win. I mean, it just goes out like this, yeah. and that's what the book's about, and we're really excited I about love that. It. Well, I like what you're doing. Thank you. Sir. I love it, and yeah. I trust you. Thank it's you. A big deal. You t I, love, I love you trust me, man. Yeah, you know, man, it's good. It's all about trust. Yeah, it, is. it is. It really well, is. Sure, of course. And uh, okay, so, you know, you know, I've had some challenges in my life here. You know, I had the hurt knee, and he said, hey, what, you got another bad leg? I ripped my quads off the whole bit. I, I shattered my kneecap. You know, it's This happens. leg, both these arms still worked out. Yeah. I tore the bicep tendon. You can see my scar there. Yeah, I noticed Off that. the bone. Short, yeah. But this arm still did stuff, these both legs. And I know you didn't know that at the time. You didn't have me. Right. You, we, you and I were not channeling yeah, right. properly. You, you used that as an excuse to get to gain weight and yep. eat crap. But, yeah. but now, we you know, that's one of the reasons why you and I are here, to yeah. give you some more information so that moving forward, you can live a long and health, healthy, happy life. Yeah, we're going to actually show little results. I'll, you know, get me on a program. I'm looking and, forward to that. So now, what do you want me to do? What are we going to do? Here? Well, you know, we were talking earlier before we got on camera. Yes. You know, you were saying, well, what, do I need to, what do I need to do to make this go down? What do I need to do to make the, you know, the numbers and the weight, the scale go down? And I said, take all that and throw it to the curb. Yeah, you Because do. I don't care about that. Right. You know, I can't tell you how many interviews I've done where they're talking about shaping your arms. I said, sure. I don't care about shaping your arms. I don't care about losing. I, what I care about is your health, yes. your fitness, and your wellness. And what I care about is your plan to get you there, your purpose to keep you there. That's everything, that's money, that's, that takes you from a guy who goes from fit, out of shape, fit, out of shape, out of fit, right. who's just fit, and boom, getting better along the way. That's where I want to be. That's where you want to be. For the rest of my life. So your purpose needs to be, I want to function better, I want to be healthy, I want to improve as I get older, um, I want to release that norepinephrine, that dopamine, that serotonin, that brain-derived neurotropic factor more days than I don't. And the only way you do that is through movement, the only way. And the other, the other key factor is variety, variety, variety. So you can do the things that you like physically, okay. that's sure. fine, but start jumping into the Pilates, start jumping into the yoga, start doing movements that are brand new to you because when the movements are new, that's what creates, that's what accelerates the change. There are so many people who go to the gym, they work really hard, they, but they've been doing the same stuff they've been doing since high school and college. Yeah. So, I mean, how many times have you been to the gym and you see these people who are busting their butt, but they look the same as they did five years ago? Right. Because they're afraid to do balance work, they're afraid to do speed work, they're afraid to uh, increase their range of motion, they're, they're afraid to go into a Pilates class. I, I want you to be bad at things. Okay. for a while all right and that's really the key now is it through 10 minute train or a p90x or p90x2 i don't know but it's about variety consistency and intensity you got that variety you mix yes. it up things you're good at things you're not good at. sure right then the intensity thing is you have to get a little outside of your comfort zone i know you're a guy who's not afraid of that no. it doesn't mean you have to be throwing up after the work oh i have i've thrown up on p90 <laughs> have you yeah hey, all right all but you know time. on that one to ten scale of intensity a 10 means oh we get to see what you had for breakfast yeah you know we, I, you don't need yeah. to do that you I'll know, take you, it to the edge, but I yeah. won't throw up. Yeah, right. find the edge of the envelope, but don't break it open. Okay. Right, and that means, uh, this is hard, but I can keep going. It doesn't mean I, I feel so exhausted and I hate this process. You don't want the process to be miserable. You want it to be, oh, you know, like, so, you know, if you can't do jump knee tucks, you just do this. Gotcha. Well, that's cheating, that's not the exercise. No, that's you showing up, that's you being in the room, that's you still being motivated. That's you being smart, that's all that is. Okay. So, to sum it all up, sum really, all up. the key is variety, intensity, consistency, right? So do the things you're pretty good at, do the things you're pretty bad at, 
that's really gonna create that dramatic physical change, right? Mental and emotional change as well. Um, and then your purpose. You know, if you exercise today and you eat well today, think of the things that you get as, as compared to the things that you don't get if you make lousy choices. Your, your, your flexibility improves, your strength improves, your cardiovascular system improves, your metabolism improves, your immune system improves. You get to wear all my old pants. Your old pants and those big old in, belt, yeah. those cowboy belt oh, buckles yeah. that you love. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I know you those. dig that. Yeah. But, but also brain function, you know, yeah. I mean, the mental and emotional thing that comes from making better choices is hard. It requires willpower and motivation and discipline and these things that make your life better. Yeah. Right? So if you're not a perfectionist about it and you understand it's really about showing up and paying attention to what's happening when you're there, then the variety thing that's not going to freak you out. The fact that you're not good at things is not going to freak you out. The, the intensity thing too is, is, is part of it. You know, you can't be lifting the same five pound dumbbell on, on day three as day 70. Right. You have to keep track, you know, and, and push the envelope a little and add an extra five pounds or decrease your range of motion or or I'm sorry, increase your range of motion on yoga and other exercises. And, it's, and, and form and function is important as well, you know? Have a mirror by and check to see if you're doing the exercises well, right. you know? I mean, people do these curls where they have this short, really funky right. range of motion. Look at older athletes, people that have been training consistently. They got the consistency thing down, they've got the uh, intensity thing down, but they're not pay, paying attention to the flexibility and the range of motion. So their motions get shorter and shorter Absolutely. and shorter. And so even though they're they're like, I'm working out, dude. Yeah. yeah. And they're, they're doing a bunch of shrugs right. and short curls and ha little short hack squats. You know, you look at dancers. Or these push-ups. Yeah. These, or, these or, or, up. or military presses yeah. where they're not, they're not extending. and Right? So those things matter. And maybe you're vulnerable to injury, so you have to pay really close attention. You don't want to go from somebody who's been doing this to dropping the weights to your shoulder and extending your arms or something's going to pop. I've always been pretty good at range of motion. That's the yeah. one thing I do have going yeah. for me. And, and it's obviously a, about, about showing up more yeah. days than you don't. I mean... Three days a week doesn't cut it. Four barely scratches the surface. It's got to be five or six days a week. Give yourself a day off, maybe one day a week. Uh, but I'll work, I have workouts scheduled every day. And, you know, when my schedule, I'll miss days here and there. But I have something scheduled for Monday nights, Tuesday mornings, Wednesday nights, Thursday mornings, Friday nights, Saturday afternoons, Sunday morning. There's a workout every one of them different. It's one's plyo, one's shoulders and arms, one's a you know, med ball cardio routine that I'm kind of into now. Or I'll get on these machines in a little circuit five right. minutes each. Then chest and back on Thursday. Friday is this fun, Friday was my day off. But I was noticing that with a day off and I missed something earlier in the week, then I don't have anything, anything scheduled on Friday. So now I've got this Pick up. plyometric core routine that I hate. <laughs> but you know it makes me I a better ski. Here. But, but well, you know, that's, that's really the mix. That's yeah. really the mix. And so, you, you know, you, maybe you didn't know this before you came here today, but, but now you do. And my hope is, is that you'll say to yourself, all right, so my purpose is not about shaping my body anymore. It's really about being a better man, being a, a higher functioning individual, being more athletic, improved immune system. I want those things every day. You're not going to aesthetically notice the change, but they're happening. Sure. You know, and, and in two weeks you'll see it, and in yeah. four weeks you'll see it, yeah. and in eight weeks you'll see it, but but your purpose is still stays the same. So, you know, I'll see you probably in 60 or 90 days. We'll decide when it is. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, we'll look yeah. at the, Mr. You know the new Mr. Patrick. I got my eyes on you, man. I know, man. Don't you try to slip underneath. Damn, now I'm yeah, under yeah, the microscope. Yeah. I'm under Tony's microscope. Yeah, yeah. But wait, whatever motivates you. Yes. You know, knowing you're going to see me it again, will. that could be one or maybe it's something else yeah that'll yeah. work for yeah. me yeah. yeah but do it for the right reasons oh, yeah. do it because if you work out today and you eat well today today's great yeah because the past is history the future's a mystery what do you got today you got right now my yeah man. right now right, right now you're only as good as your last workout and your last meal <laughs> tony patrick thanks so much for having us in your home this my is place. beautiful beautiful home by the way thank you man very much yeah. uh fun fun just chatting and i'm excited for you uh down the road oh yeah we'll see you very soon i'm gonna be a better man as you say yes you will and i thanks for all the good work you're doing with all the people you've helped and I mean, it seems like you got a lot going on in the future. I do. Yeah, very busy, but I like it. I love it. You love it. And thank you so much for being here. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy.